video tutorial is the start of a series on how to use GitHub. If you're not familiar with GitHub, uh, it's a central repository for hosting code. It has a number of different features that uh, pretty much most modern developers, programmers, uh, web designers uh, use. And uh, it's a very helpful tool to have uh, if you're working in a team environment or if you're just wanting to track changes of different projects you're doing. Uh, to go over a few of the features, uh, just go to github.com like we're on right now. And you can click on the features tab right here and it gives you a great summary of everything it does from collaboration to wikis. Uh, the integrated issue tracking is something that is very helpful for me and I use it for uh, tracking bugs and uh, project management and then code review and you can also see it has project management tools, code hosting. Uh, explore the site and you'll see there's a lot of different information and uh, uh, really helpful tools and reasons you should be using GitHub. Um, if you're also an aspiring developer, uh, you really need to do it to establish credibility if someone asks the kind of code you develop. Uh, being able to point them to your GitHub accounts a way that they can they'll see more than just a portfolio, they'll see the way that you developed it. So uh, for starting out, uh, assuming you don't already have a GitHub account, you just go to github.com and you pick a username. I already have a personal one, but I'll do a, uh, a different one for this tutorial and I'll follow along uh, with you every step of the way. So we'll go edutectional right there and then we'll go Okay, email address and then password and click sign up for GitHub. And it brings us right into the uh, GitHub account and uh, there's a lot of different things you can do and uh, shows you ways that you can set it up. Uh, what we're going to do is actually create a our first HTML file and show how it gets hosted here. So uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is come up to the toolbar and hit new. And as you can see, it takes you right here to where you can create your first uh, your first GitHub entry. So you have Edutectional right here. You'll have whatever username you created. And I'm going to simply, in the repository name, click or type in edutectional.github.io. And it's just a standard way of doing it. Uh, this is the way I do pretty much every one of them. So uh, enter that in. Uh, you can put in a description if you want. Uh, I'm not going to for this one, but this is where you can give details about your project. Uh, public, you're creating a website, so you're probably going to want to have it public, and that's the way that you share it. And then uh, I always initialize a repository with a readme file, and this is something you can always go back and edit, and uh, it's the way that people can see details that you want them to see about how to use your project. Uh, I'm not going to add anything here. This is, you know, adding different programming languages. I'm going to leave it at none. On the uh, adding a license, uh, you can use any standard ones like GPL. You see they bolded the three most popular with Apache, GPL, and MIT. Uh, I use MIT in pretty much every project that I do that's open source. So um, click that and then just click uh, create repository and it'll create it for you. And now you can see you have everything already set up right here. Now we haven't created our uh, initial uh, hello world file. That's what we're going to do now. And so to do that, the very first thing we're going to do is to open up the terminal. And so if you're on, in a Mac, on a Mac, just come down here to terminal and open it up. And uh, one thing with the terminal, a lot of times by default you'll get a white terminal where you can't see behind it. Uh, if you go up in the terminal to preferences and select on startup uh, pro, what that's going to do is give you a terminal on, I'm not sure how well you can see it on the video, but you can see it's fairly transparent and you can actually see behind it. 
and I know it's a little thing, but I find that very helpful so I can actually see what is behind the terminal window. So uh, if you're new to using the terminal, this is uh, something that I've found very helpful uh, over time. So uh, we have our terminal window open, and the very first thing we're going to do is create a directory where we're going to be hosting our file. So in order to do that, uh, first type ls and you can see all the different directories you have uh, in your admin folder. I'm gonna create a new one, and to create a new one, you do mkdir, which is short for make directory, space, and then I'm just gonna type in what I want this directory to be called. So I'm gonna be call it, uh, let's see, and I'm just gonna call it get snips. Get snips, and then I'm gonna click return and now I'm going to change directories. To change directories you just click CD and then because we're already in it just click get snips and now you can see right here that we're in that directory and to prove it click LS and you can see there's nothing inside of it. Uh, okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we need to clone that newly created GitHub repository and then go inside it. So, uh, in order to clone it, it's very easy. GitHub makes it very easy. Come back to this page and you can see this uh, HTTPS clone URL. Just click on that, hit copy, and then come back to your terminal. And in the terminal window, type in git clone, giving uh, it the git command, and hit a space, then paste that in. You can see it puts in your unique URL, and then click return. It's cloning it, and you can see that it did that successfully. And now we need to get into it, so we're going to go cd, and then type in your username, which for this one it's edutectional, dot github, dot io, Hit return, and now we are inside of that GitHub uh, repository. Now, the, um, the currently that's only going to have uh, limited files, and because you're actually in that right now, just click ls, and you can see that you have your license and your README file, the same ones if you come back here that you have over uh, in your GitHub. So uh, the next thing that we're going to do is now uh, create that file. So create that for your first hello world file. And so in order to do that, we're going to come back into the terminal. And now that we're in our GitHub repository, you're going to type in echo and then just type in hello world and make sure you put hello world in double quotation marks and then you're going to do the greater than sign and then give it a name and you want to give it index.html uh, then just click return and hold on one second let me make sure that that actually worked Echo. And the reason I say that is because it returned the bash, gave the uh, exclamation mark a, uh, a bad sign. So I'm not sure if I've ever done that one before. Let's try it again with just hello world. Index.html. Okay, and that one worked. So uh, just for an FYI, you may not want to put in that exclamation mark. That seems to toss it in air. Uh, okay, the next thing you're going to do is push that file uh, into GitHub. So in order to do that, you uh, type in git add index.html, and that did it. That worked. And now you're going to commit it. And uh, when uh, git will use the commit term quite often, so just get used to it, um, pardon the pun, uh, git commit index.html and then you're going to do dash m and then we're going to give it a uh, text. So we're going to say uh, committing our first file to GitHub and put that in double quotation marks and then click return and that went through successfully. Uh, the, and then uh, we want to also make sure for cases like this where uh, we're adding a 
you know, brand new file and adding an index file, uh, we want to make sure that we're pushing the uh, origin master. So in order to do that, you just hit get, then push origin master. And then it's going to ask you to type in because you're essentially saying that you're the master of the account. So it's going to ask you for your uh, information and you just type that in. And you hear me typing, but you're not seeing anything. That's just the way that terminal works if you're not used to it. So just make sure you type nice and slow and get it all in accurately. Okay, and that worked. So uh, that has now been pushed. And uh, you have, within just a couple minutes, already uh, created your very first uh, your GitHub uh, commit and your first file in it. So congratulations. So we're going to come back here and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see, hit refresh. And hit refresh and now you can see right here that you now have a new index.html file right here uh, saying and you have comments committing our first file to GitHub. Click on that. And you'll see you have the Hello World uh, HTML file uh, on line one. You can click edit and you'll actually get the, um, the file itself. But come back to Edutectional, you can see that it shows that you have had one contribution and it shows you the repository that you've done. So this is a very beginner's guide. This is just showing you how to do the initial GitHub Hello World uh, type of um, type of demo, but it should give you a good start. And stay tuned and uh, go through the rest of the tutorials um, on, uh, for Edutectional here that we have here on YouTube uh, and some of the other spots we syndicate to. And uh, it will give you a really good feel for how to use GitHub on a daily basis, how to uh, branch off other people's uh, code and projects, and uh, how to let them do that to yours um, and participate in the whole programming and coding uh, open source type system. So uh, thanks for listening and please let me know if you have any questions on how to use GitHub.